These are uh, specialized, we designed. They have a taller profile, which means they're, they're taller this way, more glass. That, allow, that allows us to get this outside corner way back where it belongs instead of the eyes being the eye openings being more flat this way it allows that eye opening to be like this but the eye is still looking that way so you have enough glass to get all the way to that back corner where I where I feel it needs to be you have large pupils uh, just a nice dilated pupil to me it like makes a nice nice look for a bobcat um, we're gonna put those on there with some some uh, non-hardening, some oil clay. We're just going to make a couple little posts. If, you, if your clay's warm, it'll be a lot easier to, for you to work with. Just work it in your hands a little bit and it'll warm right up. I'm just going to make a little post right on each of these eye locations. Now in setting the eyes, for a bobcat, we want these eyes to be, the pupils, we want to be tipped inward. I think I'm on the right camera here. We want the pupils to, to tip inward a little bit at the top. And we also want the back of the glass, or you might say the focus of the eye, rather than being straight out, we want it tipped out just a little bit that way. So we're going to want this, we're going to want this eye rather than it looking right straight down the nose and out this way it's going to be just a little bit like that. And what, what that does, once we put the skin on there, it'll keep that from having a cross-eyed look if you give them just a little bit of a tip out. So I'm going to press the eye on there. I've got that little, little uh, mound of clay under there. And as I press that in, I'm going to try to give it the tip that I want. I tilt the pupil in a little bit at the top and tip the eye out a little bit this way. So they won't sit on the same plane across this way. This eye is a little bit that way and that eye is a little bit that way. So same thing for this one. Let's press it on. Give it a little bit of tip. Tip it out. Tip the pupil in at the top. And we're going to push the mask on there. Press it into place. If your eyes are sticking out real far, it's going to uh, it's going to press them back into position. These I I pressed them on far enough that it, it's not even touching. So I'm actually gonna work those down a little bit. Let me look. I need to look at it this way now. Okay, I'm gonna slide this eye out just a little bit. Both of them. Just play around with them a little bit there till you get the get the look you want. It's normal for the pupil to be covered by the top eyelid and the bottom of the pupil should show. It's very typical for a cat. There should be a nice little gap all the way around the eyes. I'll hold that where you can see it now. Yeah, I think I've got them pretty close. The pupils are tipped in a little bit at the top, it's canned out a little bit and there's a, there's a gap all the way around that glass so we'll be able to very easily slide the skin in there. So again, we've trimmed the we've trimmed the skin of the nose to slide right against this ledge right here, and that will get glued right against that ledge. So, okay, if you have the eyes, once you get the eyes where you want them, it's like that one could move just a little bit. And let's see. It's a very important part, so don't uh, be in too big of a hurry here. Spend some time and step back and look at it. And with the with the non-hardening oil clay, you can always adjust them later. It's just a lot easier to get them as close as you can right now instead of trying to do it after it's mounted. So, okay, I think I've got them pretty close. So I'm going to take a couple little pea-sized bits of clay. And I'm just going to put those right on the back corners where the mask sets in. And when I press that mask on there, that's going to hold the mask on.
that should keep the mask from falling off while you're working with it. Okay, for the eyes, again, we'll relocate that uh, front corner and the back corner. Now on the back corner of the eye, the front corner obviously and that's that's pretty obvious where that front corner is and the back corner too now the back corner has a groove that comes back and down from the eye on both sides all the way down and that's what we're going to push for this back corner of the eye is way farther back than the than the inside corner the outside corner is way back from the outside these glass eyes are made with a with a taller profile so that we can get that back corner, get that eyelid clear black back on the where it belongs and still have some glass there for it to lay on. So we also will be working that crease there for that hair pattern. We also have uh, grooves here at the brows that we'll be tucking the skin or pushing the skin into and adjusting to, to uh, help form the eyebrow areas. All this is modeled into the form you, sh you shouldn't need to add any clay anywhere on these. So continue to uh, line up the corners, inside, outside, inside, and the outside. Now I'm gonna. I have that the eyelid skin itself. I'm stretching, kind of laying that out flat on that glass, on that lower lid. I'll do the same thing on this side be able to see them both it's kind of rolled under right there so we want to get that out where you can see what's going on I'll clean that off again okay again I'm just trying to get the caulking off the outside of the eyelid Okay, I'm going to start at the inside corner and I'm going to push that skin right into that little gap that we had between the glass and the, and the plastic mask. And then I'm going to push the edge of that eyelid right into that crack starting at the inside corner and working my way to the outside of the back corner of the eye. And when I get up to the outside corner, it's going to line right up into that little groove that I just showed you. That's where it needs to end, the bottom lid. Now don't over tuck them. You want that black skin of that lower eyelid to show. Do the same thing with this side now. Tuck that front corner in and then just press gently that skin the naked the eyelid skin right into that groove all the way back to the back corner and you should be able to feel that back corner as you come off of there and again keep that keep that eyelid rolled out that way to expose this black this black skin the black pattern along the lower edge of the eye okay Got the bottom eyelids tucked. Now we're going to do the same thing with the top. We're going to, again, we're going to start the inside corner. We're going to force it and just gently press it into that little gap. And we're going to work our way across from the inside corner to the outside corner. And on these, if you over tuck them, your eyelashes will come right down onto the glass. So you will know if you've went too far with those. You do want the eyelashes to have a little bit of a downward tip to them because they need to shadow that eye and protect that eye from dirt and debris and from above. And that, that top eyelid should flow all the way from the inside corner and right out and right down into that crease and down the side of the face. Do the same thing with this side. I can't see you over there very well, but 
and I kind of make sure I've got that skin out where it belongs here first so I'm tucking it the right way there we go okay I'm gonna start at the inside corner and press that skin into that, into that little gap I don't know if we can see it all right as I get to the rear corner I'm going right into that little groove and down the side of the face Again, it should be a nice arc from the front corner of the eye all the way around and into that little groove. From the front corner all the way around and into that little groove. I'm going to clean those, clean those eyes up a little bit with a brush and some thinner. Let's see if we're getting close. Now that you've got them tucked, you can uh, get after it pretty good with the acetone and the paintbrush. It should clean up nicely. And you can gently kind of help shape them and push that skin around just a little bit as you go with the brush. Get right into that. Uh, it'll actually, the edges of that flat bristle brush will actually go right into that crack a little bit. Be careful not to over tuck that bottom lid. Let that black show around there because this brush will force that skin right in there. If you're not careful. I hope it's looking relatively close. I'm, uh, Kind of standing off to the side where it's hard to tell, but Q-tip soaks up some of that excess cleaner. Should be pretty close. 